so ccsp stands for certified cloud security professional okay ccsp stands for certified cloud security professional and basically that is a certification by an organization called as isc square which stands for the international information systems security certification consortium okay IAC Square International Information Systems Security Certification Consortium and basically CCSP is by two firms okay by the CSA which stands for Cloud Security Alliance and the next one is we have something called as IAC Square okay yes Pawan we are going to discuss the basis of that the front we'll discuss that part of this so basically you can see that this is a certification which is more perspective or designed by Cloud Security Alliance and IAC Square and basically IAC Square is handling it completely now okay and we have one more certification called a CCSK which is completely by the cloud security alliance okay ccsk is completely by the cloud security alliance and ccsp is more by the isc square okay that's it and in this certification okay as we discussed we are completely discussing about the strategic factors which we are following in while adopting a cloud model okay that's it and this ic square is basically driving the certification industry for the last uh, 20 30 years actually okay and the certification will basically demonstrate your competence and skills in designing the proper cloud security architecture how we can basically design the operations and how we can basically plan the orchestration and everything okay that's it and why this is more demand the market okay here also what happens is we have to study a lot of things but if you follow the proper strategy if you properly listen to our recordings also if you basically go through the key points exam will be very easy for you okay i'll, I'll tell you how to prepare the exam and okay in the certification the first thing why we need this why we basically need this particular cloud platform I have seen that okay i have seen that let's say by 2000 let's say 10 or 2011 actually okay so this cloud platform basically started in the industry and we, we started hearing this word called as cloud platform and all okay so basically from 2010 onwards uh, basically people started hearing this word called as cloud in the market very much but that time also most companies don't want to move to cloud i don't know if you people know it there was a policy called as no internet policy no internet policy in the company some years back because so, uh, because people think that okay having an internet connection in the office can basically harm their systems actually just some thoughts random thoughts actually but after some time people understood that having the internet is something which is very important and the risk which is having which is basically with the internet is manageable like the same way when this cloud is basically hitting the market People thought that okay, moving to cloud can basically make a lot of security issues. Some major financial and banking organizations and all basically are not willing to move to cloud because they fear they are basically their data can be lost or there can be some issues. So most companies don't want to move to cloud. So after some time, the cloud model expanded a lot of competitors in the market. And basically, when the cloud provider started serving everything capsulated, okay, when the cloud provider started serving everything well cooked, people started adopting it. And they understood that the risk which is there in the cloud platform is very much less when you compare with the benefit you are getting okay now almost every company let's say almost every company is basically uh, moving to cloud platform like aws or azure or anything every company is moving to cloud platform what happens is there must be a person or there must be a team or there must be a professional to ensure all these things you do in the cloud platform. see now just just some 10 minutes back before your session one of my clients called me and said fish that they are not just my clients just visiting i am just supporting them for some projects only so they told me krish you need to basically help us on billing and cost management because why because by the end of the day we are getting a lot of huge bill generated in the cloud account i don't know how it happened so like this you have a lot of concerns and your business is spending money to cloud platform you have to make sure whatever things we're doing is basically supporting the business right so there must be a person there must be a professional there must be a put to basically manage all these factors how can basically we make sure an application the cloud platform can work effectively how to make sure the cloud provider is not cheating how to make sure the cloud provider is basically giving the value how we can design the operations and everything in the cloud platform so all these things will work and definitely there was no certification for all this for a long time we have certification from different cloud providers to do something but there is no certification there was no certification who was basically uh, focusing on how to ensure all these things are happening properly and that is where the ccsp come in picture and nowadays this is the hotter certification in the market but there is one more thing which is very interesting i felt okay Till last second last year i have seen that people say crush ccsp is very easy ccsp is very tough but now i have seen that okay crush csp is a bit more easier than ccsp because the perspective can change the only thing is if you know the concepts you can pass the exam very easily okay that's it yeah basically what happens is some years back okay whenever we are basically doing anything some years back okay i'll repeat i'll repeat one what happens is people sometimes think that okay ccsp is bit, bit very much tough stuff and ccsp is very easy and some people uh, say that ccsp is tough and csp is easy is based on the way you learn 
or it's based on the way you understand things okay so basically when you basically go and select a service from a cloud service provider let's say any organization okay so whenever we are basically going to a cloud service provider and selecting a service there must be a professional that word don't forget okay there must be a professional in the organization which, which we call as cloud security professional who can understand the legal requirements who can understand the compliance requirements who can understand the requirements in the contract who can understand the threats and vulnerabilities and everything so basically he is a person who must be able to do the end to end operations management for the cloud platform and that is a complete role of a ccsp okay cloud operations cloud security operations okay and like the same way there is one more thing let's say now we are talking about in the perspective of a cloud customer right so i am saying that i am basically adopting a cloud model uh, from aws or azure so i am the customer like the same way i have to talk in the perspective of a cloud provider also ccsp is not a certification which is focusing in the perspective of customer only we are focusing on the perspective of cloud service provider as well so let's say for example when you basically say the word cloud provider they have to build a data center they have to build the vms they have to meet the legal requirements they have to make sure the proper auditing is there so there also we have the ccsp requirements so this particular ccsp certification will get you the clarity for both the customer level and the cloud service cloud service provider level requirements and how we can basically define them very effectively okay that's it and you can understand the technicalities the complexities and everything and how we can basically find a solution for the this is a complete intent of the exam okay that's it